Hi, it's me again. Uh, today we're going to do another social dance. Normally we're doing disco or upbeat uh, dances that you can do yourself or doing a, a, a group. Um, so we've done the likes of Saturday Night Fever, we've done Damien and the Time Warp, uh, You Should Be Dancing and so on and so on. Today I'd advise this, this is a good uh, group dance and you can either do it in a line, four or five people or more, that's four or five, or better still, do it in a circle, okay? The reason I say that is normally we do the feet and the hands. Today we're going to do it in reverse. Why? Because the hands basically are just going to go on your neighbour's shoulders and theirs are going to come on yours. So effectively, their hand would be on there and there. And yours would be on their shoulders. Okay? No gripping, no gripping. It's got to be, it's got to be able to move. So as you move, your hand can move effectively. So if your partner misses a step, um, misses beats or does anything else, you're not pulling them, they're not pulling you. This dance can be dangerous if you do that. So the idea is you keep it very, very light. So if they make a mistake, it doesn't matter. You can carry on without pulling them over. And that's the great thing about a circle, because when you're in a circle, as opposed to a line, as you're going round, even if the inexperienced dancers amongst you can't really get all those steps and fumble it as it gets faster, the circle takes them round. So they don't need to know all those steps, and they feel included, and they don't feel as though that people say, oh, it's you know, a rubbish dance or something like that. It's a great inclusion dance, this one. Uh, just a little bit of care because music starts slow and then builds up and we'll tackle that in a minute. So let's have a look at those hands again. Remember, whether you're in a line or a circle, the arms are out onto your neighbour's shoulder. Okay, no gripping, very, very light. You should be able to move forwards and backs to the side without gripping your neighbour. Okay. So let's have a look at the feet. So first of all, the feet are together and the weight's between them. And what we're going to do is swivel on the left heel to begin with and then the right. And we're just going to turn the foot a quarter turn to the left for, to begin with for a one, two, three, four. Repeat on the right, five, six, seven, eight. So it's like, if it was a clock, quarter past okay there we go we don't need to bother about the arms they're up here so we've got our one two three four five six seven eight okay from there we're going to step forward on the left foot tapping the right foot behind for a step tap behind two kicks kick kick back kick, back, step. And the count for that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. You've got a step, tap behind, kick, kick, back, kick, back, step. And we finish with the weight on the right foot. There's only four components to this dance, so it's not a long dance, but it is, uh, it's, it's quite challenging. So let's just do those two together. So we're going to swivel on our left foot for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step, tap behind, kick, kick, step, back, kick, back, step. And we've finished with our weight on the right foot. From here, we're going to go forward again with the left foot. And this time, instead of tapping, we're going to lift the right foot. So we're going to do a step, lift, back, tap. Step, lift, back, tap. So you're stepping, stepping and lifting, stepping and tapping. Stepping and lifting. Stepping and tapping and you've got a slight forward motion as you go and the whole group goes forward 
Okay. We finished from that point, the last one, step, tap, sorry, step, lift, back, tap. The final part of this dance, and then we'll go through the whole lot of it, is you're going to, there's a, a running action, a zigzag action to the side. So we'd start left over right for a cross side back side kick step kick step and then we're going to go back starting on the left foot for a side cross side back kick step kick and this time we're going to close because the dance starts again with that quarter turn so let me just do it sideways perhaps you can see that be slightly better so we did the step and lift back tap step lift back tap cross side back side kick step kick step side cross side back kick step kick close and we start again to make that easier for you it's better if you can slightly twist the body on that so when we're doing that first one you cross you're, you're turning your body to the right for a cross side back side kick step kick step side cross side back kick step kick step by doing that, it reminds you which foot should be going where. So if you're turning, you naturally want to fall back. So if you do that turn, and it looks better as well. Okay, so let's, let's run through that, and then we can do it to music, and you can see how the, the beat alters and why it becomes a bit of a fun dance. So, first of all, we're going to start swimming on the uh, left foot, the quarter past uh, motion we've got a swivel two three four five six seven eight step back to behind kick kick back kick step step forward lift back tap forward lift back tap cross side back side kick step kick step side cross side back kick step kick close and we start again three four five six seven eight the fun part about this dance is it speeds up if you've ever seen the the, the, the film the music it speeds up at the very, very end, there's a bit that's actually too quick to dance. So what you do from here, there's a slight pause, and the music, the, the, the beat doubles. And what we do there is we leave all the first part, and we just do the runs. So, where we just finished, and we've come back from the last run, we go straight back into uh, the cross side, back side, for our one, two, three, four, kick kick side cross side back kick kick a one two three four kick kick side cross side back kick kick and we do that over and over again so you'll see where it comes in that's the dangerous part and that's why you don't grab onto anybody because that's the fun part when you're going around it's, you get all variations on that so let's try this to the music and see how it goes Is that? So you can see it's very slow to begin with, and you could have. 
started by now if you wanted to. A five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four. A five, six, seven, eight. Stop, top, kick, kick, back, kick, step, step. Thank you.